Hi, it's Jane Taylor here from Habits for Wellbeing. Welcome to the clip on who and what are you grateful for. So what is gratitude? Well, one of the definitions that I found, it refers to gratitude as the state of being grateful, a feeling of thankfulness or appreciation. So it's really tuning into those feelings and those states that we have inside of ourselves. William James, who was a psychologist and philosopher from America, he talked about the deepest craving of human nature is the need to feel appreciated. So if you pop over to the Habits for Wellbeing website, underneath resources, then free resources, you'll find this worksheet and we'll be working our way through this worksheet. So if you just pop over there and come back. So welcome back. After you've printed out the worksheet, you'll see that there's a structured worksheet as well as a not structured worksheet. It's really your choice about how you would prefer to work through. So if you prefer to work through the not structured worksheet, just free flowing, who and what are you grateful for? So it could be anything from the environment that you're living in, you're really grateful that you have a house to live in, you know, um, the people that you live in, whether you're grateful that your body does, you know, all the things that you're grateful for and just free flow, write those things down. If you'd prefer a, non, a more structured process, I'll go through those questions now. So the people in my life I'm grateful for are, so just write down those responses, whether it's your family and friends, teachers, whoever they are. Then the second response, the experiences I'm grateful for include, now they could be a past experience or a present experience, something that you've had today. Just write down all of the things that you're grateful for. And if you need any extra time, just pause the video and come back to it when you're ready. Then the third statement, I'm grateful that my body so whether that it's, you know, you're grateful that your body and you're able to breathe, whether you're able to walk or move, you know, really tune into all the things that you're grateful for. Because sometimes these are things that we can take for granted in our world each day. Then anything that you haven't included in the top three responses, you may like to include now. So I am grateful for and all of, all of those things. And then finally, I want to let the following people know how grateful I am. Because one of the things that can happen in life is if we get really busy, we forget to thank the people that we're really grateful for. So just identifying those people. So once you've answered those questions, here's a couple of questions for reflection. So identify, how can you show more gratitude in your life? You may like to make it a practice. So each day you write in a journal or have a gratitude jar. And there's some examples, again, on the Habits for Wellbeing website. Also identify who can you thank now, whether that's making a phone call, writing a card, writing a letter, whatever that is, and just identify who you can thank now and action that. And remembering, he is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. So if you have any questions, pop on over to the Facebook page or send us a question on the Habits for Wellbeing website. Thanks so much for taking the time to listen to this clip and I look forward to catching up with you at some stage. Take care. Bye.